I, I can't even comprehend what just happened. I never had one like that before. This is real. My life is in danger. Scratch that, not just mine, but Kira was being attacked too. Hello? Hello? Hey Kira, it's me. Uh, who is this? It's me, Gina. Do you remember me? Wow, Gina. Do you even remember me? What is that supposed to mean? It's, it's fine, whatever. What do you want? No, it's not fine. What do you mean? Well, Gina, you stopped responding to my texts and my calls like years ago. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. It's just I got really busy with school and I'm so it's sorry. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just what do you want? Um, well, it's just, you know how, like, I used to have, like, those intense dreams or it was, like, deja vu? Uh, oh, like your psychic powers or whatever. Yeah, well, I had one last night, and this one wasn't like the others. It wasn't like how, like, when Brandon tripped on a tree branch or, like, if Mr. Higgins, like, color, the color of his sweater or something. It was... Kira, I saw myself getting murdered, and you were there too. Wait, did I kill you? No, 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 it's not like that. It's, we were both attacked by someone. I don't know who, but all I know is just that it was like somewhere in a parking structure, and I was bleeding out, and everything went black, and I just woke up. Holy crap. Kira, I need your help. <sighs> okay, I'll send you my address. Can you pick me up? Yeah. Okay, okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, so what exactly happened in your dream? Okay, so in my dream, you and I were both attacked on the roof of the parking structure. The one where we all used to hang out? Yeah, it was weird how specifically that place. Are you sure it wasn't random? No, it was definitely not random. Whoever did it felt really personal and like they knew us. So, oh my god, that means it was one of our old friends. I don't know, I don't want to think that way, but nothing else makes sense. But why would they even want to do that? I have no idea. Okay, so we just have to find the killer before your dream becomes true. Yeah, but how are we going to do that? Okay, we need to gather all the suspects at the same place at the same time and figure out who it is. Okay.
Okay, be specific and start from the beginning. Okay, so in my dream, I was lying on the concrete and there were sounds of footsteps. Anything specific about the footsteps? Um, well, I couldn't really tell the size of the person from the sound, but the sound was really drawn out and it sounded like the person was dragging their feet. Okay, so what about like smell or scent? Mm, they had like a... I don't really know how to describe it. The smell was very warm and kind of nutty. I don't even know if that makes sense, but I can't really remember like the smell. Okay. Hi, Kira! You've grown so big now! Thanks. Brandon! Our favorite how are you? I'm good. How are you? Wait, where was the wound on your body? It was on the right side of my body. That means that the attacker was left-handed. Oh, you're right. What's on your hand? Oh, it's just uh, ink when I'm writing. Oh, wow! That happens to my left-handed kids when they write in marker. They get ink on their hands, and then they get upset. So then we have to take them out for snack time. Mm, those left-handed kids. There's not a lot of them. No, I only have like two. Okay, so was there anything else about me other than the fact that I was knocked out a couple feet away? Mm. You had scratches on the left side of your face. Where would that even come from? Mm, I don't know. Maybe the attacker had like a ring or like a sharp object on their hand. Yeah, I love your house. It's like, you know the size of my closet, but that's okay. It's, it's so adorable. Okay, yeah. thanks. So Where'd you get these rings? Oh, I'm sorry, honey, but they're a little out of your price range. <laughs> Wait, if anyone had a motive to kill, wouldn't it be Brandon? No, he's not that vengeful type. He wouldn't do that to me. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Morgan. So, how you doing, you know, after that whole thing happened? After what thing? Well, I know, like, no one wants to ask it, but were you, like, put in foster care or something? Hey, Morgan. Can we not talk about that anymore? Oh, I guess it's still touchy for you. Sorry. Okay, so we literally have nothing more to go off of, I guess. Hey, Kara, where's everyone else? Um, they're in the other room, but what are we gonna do? Honestly, I have no idea, but I need food so we can discuss about my murder over dinner. Okay, whatever. Hey, do you guys want drinks? Yes, I'll have a mimosa, but with no champagne and extra juice. So you'll have a cup of orange juice. Yeah! Okay, that's doable, I think. Um, Rhea, what would you like? Anything mixed, like sour-ish. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Kevin, an Irish coffee? That's what you get, right? Extra soup. Okay, okay. And Morgan. I'll have your most expensive drink. Okay, um, I'll get you a champagne and like stick a dollar bill in it. Kira, what would you like? Um, whatever you recommend. Okay, um, Gina. Can I just get some apple cider? Ooh, keeping it clean, okay. Um, <laughs> they're in the back, right? Yeah. Okay, next to the glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Kevin, can you come with me? Yeah. And yeah, can you guys get the fruit from the kitchen? Sure. Do you don't have meat? <laughs> no. Uh, manual labor. Gross. Okay, I honestly have no idea what's happening because there seems to be some hidden tension, but none of them seem bad enough to murder. Yeah, well, I don't know. Like, Tina, she's so innocent. She wouldn't even hurt a fly. Yeah, and Rhea just seems bored, and I highly doubt she even cares to do anything that extreme. Kevin has said a total of six words, and it's not very different from school. Brandon is nice and cordial, as always, and Morgan, well... It's the opposite, as always. So none of them are close to being murderous. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I guess we just have to dig deeper and pay more attention to the details. Well, we have the rest of the night. Hopefully we can find something. <sighs> okay. Let me just go powder my face. People still powder their faces. <laughs> what does that mean? 
We're just eating dinner. I think it's like a pretentious way of saying I'm gonna put on makeup. Oh. Mm. Sounds about right. Yeah, I'm fine. There's something in my. <laughs> Gina, are you okay? <coughs> you like. <coughs> oh my god, Gina, she's been poisoned. We need to get water and salt now. Come on. <laughs> Which one of you did this? What? You're just gonna start accusing us? One of you did this. What do you mean one of us did this? Everyone was in the kitchen. Everyone could have had the chance to poison Gina. Yeah, but how did you know it was poison? Well, I mean, she wasn't breathing. Of course, something was wrong. Well, yeah, no, but that's not what I was talking about. Like, how did Kira immediately know there was poison in the drink? The drink was bubbling, and I've seen cases exactly like this. But that's not the point. The point is that someone tried to kill Gina, and we're not leaving until we figure out who that is. I don't believe that any of us did this. Well, clearly one of us did. She almost died. You know what? I'm gonna leave. I'm, I'm leaving. No, I'm leaving. no, you're not leaving. Excuse me? No one is leaving here until we figure out who tried to kill Gina. You know what? I think it's Rhea. What? Why? I saw you reaching your bag in the kitchen. Yeah, I was getting my phone. You expect us to believe that? If anything, it would have been Brandon. I didn't even make the drinks. Brandon would never. You speak an infinite deal of nothing. Oh, so you talk now to defend Brandon. Oh, of course. Of course Brandon would want to get G revenge on Gina for what he did in the past. Excuse me, Morgan, I mean, you need to watch your mouth before you say something you regret. You know what? Maybe you guys did it together. You guys are always together anyways. Morgan, you're the one throwing your own accusation because you're also a suspect. You're the one that said you, don't, you didn't want to be here. You know what? I said I didn't want to be here because there's a murder among us. Can we please not fight like this? If we just stay here, Kira can ask us questions. We will answer all things faithfully. Can we just solve this peacefully? Yeah, like that will happen. Why are you so negative? I hold the world, but as the world. I'm a realist. You know what? I still think you're the Tina, why are you acting so bad? I know, you're the bad this time every single time. How yeah, I've really never seen that. Yeah, I'll just say, okay, it was literally all the time. It was, literally literally all all time. It was no, me! What? Brandon. I poisoned the drink. Why? I'm not bound to please you with my answers. I knew it was him. See, you guys all think he's such a nice person, and then when it's finally revealed what that it's him- Shut your mouth. So you guys gonna call the cops or what? Hey, you guys see some food? I'm good, thanks. That is not an option. What? I, I spent a lot of money on this bag of chips. <sighs> Are you at least doing alright? Oh, sorry. I mean, it can't be that bad, right? Your aunt's place, is it really... How is it? <laughs> well, she's insane. And, uh, she hated my parents. So naturally, she hates me too. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Well, at least we're gonna be off the cause soon, and when we're there, the freedom is ours. Your positivity is exhausting. Seems like we've switched places. <laughs> you have too much respect upon the world. I that everything. is not true. The world kind of sucks if you, if you ask me, but at least we have each other, right? Yeah. Um, hey, I know your birthday was like a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and I didn't really have any money then, but I bought you like this really small thing. It's just oh. like a keychain. Wow. Thank you, thank you. <sighs> I know, like, I've been through a lot lately, and I've been kind of hard to deal with. So, thanks for not leaving me in the dust. Well, in the end, we've got each other's backs, right? Yeah, always.
tired of having to drive you around everywhere. Speak of the devil. See you later. Bye. Did you guys find like, a trail yet? Uh, hold on. We're trying to find a good one with a nice... Ugh, I'm out of data. Um, I installed a hotspot on my car if you want to use it. The, um, the password is Xiaolongbao123. You can do that? Yeah, um, everybody at my workplace gets one. It comes with a signal jammer as well. It's, just, it's really weird. Gina, I know the circumstances were really bad, but I'm really glad we reconnected. Me too, I really missed you as a friend. Kevin, what's wrong? Do you guys know what park this is? No, why? This, this park is where Brandon and I shared our childhood memories. This exact playground right here, we used to come here every day after school. But, but now Brandon's in jail, things will never be the same as they were before. And, and whose fault is that? What do you mean? Ever since Gina, Gina, you crashed into Brandon's parents, he had to suffer everything that he never had to suffer before. He had to work hard, he was super poor. And what did he deserve? He does not deserve to be in jail. Okay, but that was not my attention, and that doesn't justify for him trying to kill me, and it's his fault for where he is. He was not the one who tried to kill you. I, I was the one who poisoned the drink, and he took the blame for it. Um, Kevin, why? I guess I should just complete what I should have done in high school. Kevin, no, please stop! Right? Yeah. Always. Yesterday night at 9 p.m., authorities reported to a homicide scene at a suburban park playground in Chino Hills. The victim, 23-year-old news reporter Kira Flores, was found along with her close friend, who fortunately suffered no injuries. The close friend, who was asked not to be named, stated that Flores protected her from the attacker before the attacker fled on foot. Authorities report that the suspect is still at large, described as a 6-foot Asian male, last seen wearing a dark gray sweater and khakis. They have also released that this murder is connected with the poisoning attempt two weeks ago, and further testimony had exonerated the suspect in questioning despite an initial guilty plea. More on this story to come tomorrow at 7.